here we go again. We are back with more Pro Cycling Mandy Season 2013. This time it's stage 11 in the Tour de France from Chambry to Gap. It's a hill stage, so I expect guys like Rodriguez to be up front and maybe me and Froome and Contador a bit further behind. But hopefully I can get some time on Contador today. It's pretty exciting stage profile actually. I think I can I think I can manage to get some time to do the competitors. And I'm a favorite actually, I'm a bit surprised by that. Because it always just under can't be estimated and Froome isn't there at all. Which says to me that if I don't gain time today, I probably won't win this too far. Sadly enough. But yeah, I, I expect to follow what take this, this this race. I honestly I think a breakaway might take the victory today. Yes, there are some good hill riders who are pretty far behind in the overall classification. Who the other favorites will probably little way easy, and then I will have to work to get them to get them if I want to stay to him. Just like the last stage yesterday. But there's two hill stages left. There's this one, and then tomorrow is the sprint, I think. And then there's another hill stage, and then I think it's a rest day, and then four mountain stages in a row. And the, the special thing about this year's Tour de France is, of course, that well, the one that's in implemented in this game, not this year's Tour 2014. I think it's 2009, 2010. This one. The special thing about this one is, of course, that it was the first time that a race ever ended on top of the Col de Tourmalet. Because it was the 100 years anniversary of that mountain being in Tour de France. So we'll, we'll have to head over the same mountain twice in uh, two days. I don't care. Let's go. Quintana in there. Mountain jersey and on the 25 jersey, and he's also pretty far up front in the in the sprint jersey. Where is he? He's actually the best of the mountain riders in the sprint classification. Consider us all the way down here. I've been consistently in the top, and I won yesterday's stage of course, which also gave me some points. But uh, most likely, I'll actually get home with two jerseys at least. No, I mean one jersey at least. I, I will. Most definitely get the under 25 jersey. I don't unless I crash out. Mountain jersey is probably pretty likely as well, considering I'm so far ahead in e in each stage. So I'll always be up in the front front row. It's the first sprint there. I think Kreibel won it. Yeah, Kreibel and Kittel and Cavendish are all pretty close actually. And the uh, competition for the green jersey. Get some part of this stuff. So we start up with the toughest mountain, the category one. And about 36 kilometers will reach the top. So I don't think we'll see that much happening there. It is a pretty tough climb, of course, so my guys will probably die. And I'll have two riders left or something like that. I don't care that much about it. But this is what happens when you go full speed and you hit a mountain. Everybody just stops dead on. At least I'm sitting up front. Comes all sitting up here. Uran, Costa, Rodriguez. Froome is down here. I don't want to get bothered until I got up to the top. I know I'm laying down a really fast pace, man. I think Tame, one of the big talents from Estonia who, never, who hasn't really achieved much. Which is just disappointing because I liked him a lot. This is this. I always like riders from the small French team. I remember liking Philippe Gilbert when he was trying for Francesc Tissot. 
Then when they go to to bigger teams, uh, I don't care about them that much anymore. Oh, it's it's tough now. Actually, people are falling off from my team. Then anyway, people are falling off from from every team right now. This group has is trying to hang on, but I think it's going to cut here soon. And oh yeah, MP. Oh, they couldn't make it. Paulini just hang on. There we go. Now I have two riders keeping on Torvalds and setting up pace up front. And the rest of them are coming up as well now. They didn't really plan on, on uh, setting pace that tough right now. I mean. People are just going to call it, catch us again later. Vening is getting some mountain points. How is he? He's third. Just got two more points. He's probably trying for the dotted jersey. Oh, we'll see if we, we'll let him do that. I don't care really. I'll probably get it later on anyway. Get some more bottles. Quintana, how's he looking? He's looking pretty good actually, both in day shape and in the green and yellow and red bars, all full right now. We're nearing the start of the category 2 climb. John Leroy couldn't keep up anymore with the front group. Looks like he'll be cast soon. Okay, Saps Tinker has set themselves up in front. These guys can just relax now, I think. I don't really care about them anymore. If they want to fall off, they can fall off. They have done their job today, so the pace high. Dictated the pace. Consider Cody Costa. All of the big guys sitting up front. Room, Rodriguez is somewhere up here as well. Moreno, for example. 7 kilometers to the top. Don't know if I, if I should attack on this little start after category 2 or if people are going to attack here uh, already. If I want the stage win, I should probably attack soon, actually. I'll attack when this one hits 2 kilometers. Unless no one has attacked, I'll attack at 2 kilometers. And I mean failure, it's not like Slick and Rodgers. Slick is going to attack at one point, I think. Let's see how this does. Maybe then Martin as well. They're hitting the, almost at the top right now. I can't be attacked. It's pretty annoying. I'm, pretty big, I'm a bit stuck behind some some other guys right now. Yeah, control attacks. Thank you, base control. Will it cost that Rodriguez room? Big six, and uh, is trying to get up again. He's still fourth of all, so he still has a chance, of course. Will Rodriguez join me? Will Costa, Froome, everybody but Considero actually joining my attack. Let's just put it on the dot for a bit and see how it goes downhill anyway. I think they'll catch me again. But if they don't, huh, I'll have fun with this while it lasts. Consador is trying to go up to me again. Damn you, Consador. Oh, Contador is going solo up. He's so much stronger to, in this than I expect him to be. I expect that to be battling with him for for maybe second place behind Flume, but Flume has used all his power in the duty Italia. He isn't really that much of a threat. I have to, sad to say. I'm okay about that because I don't think I could have beaten for him if he was in top shape. So 
So we have about 4 seconds now to this group. There's Kralak here. And, oh, I uh, forgot to set Kralak on. Pace. But we are almost setting up the next mountain now. Levening and speed luck. Looks like they want to decide the ways between them. Kutana has no help compared to all the other guys who have two, three, four riders maybe. This is now if you want to you want to get away. If you don't get away now, I don't think that I'll be battling for first at all. I don't care, I want to try to get away from it at all a bit. Probably won't succeed at all, but I, I tried. That's the most important thing. Oh, I think I'll die of first. No, not of first, but of energy loss. Wow, he's just catching up to me. Even though I'm using almost all my power. Will I get some second sound cards at all? I don't care if it's only 15 or something like that. Speed like one, veining. I'll actually get third. Zador, Egan Ton, Uran, Nerz, Fru, Rodriguez. I'm okay, I was actually the best again. But Consador is goddamn impossible to drop on these. Stages. I've tried so many times different strategies, just hang on, hang on, it's real, and then attacking at the end, or attacking from a long distance out. And I'll please him every time, but he's still, still catch me at the end. Damn it. Oh, I, I really think I'll kick me in the end by dropping that much time to win the cover stage. Really going to bite me in the ass. Damn it. Okay. Spielak one. I didn't gain any time. I didn't even gain any time on these guys down here. What? Sometimes I hate this registration system because you can clearly see the second stage in a row where I have gained time clearly on Consador and also Uran and even so on and Nats and I haven't gotten the time taken away. I, I probably should have been up under three and a half minutes now. If it if it could register gaps like it actually does down at the bottom of the screen when you do the race. Okay, I'm down to second the mountain. Sprint. I have not really done much today. Moved up to. Haven't moved up at all. Just extended my league to these guys. So about six builders kissed up one of them. But I'll see you in. Not tomorrow because it's a sprint stage, but. Day after tomorrow, where we'll have another exciting hill stage. Uh, I think I'll show the profile once I'll get past this loading screen. See if we can find it. Okay, come on. Oh, there's a lot of stages in this today. I think it's about the third or the fourth stage today already. That's good enough. I, I haven't really set any other races here in July because people are just supposed to relax and watch the runs. Watch their teammates win the entire race. This is today's stage. This is just a normal sprint stage. Tomorrow, my sprinter is actually back now. He was injured for a while. Uh, so, tomorrow we'll try this stage, which is a normal hill stage, but compared to today, we'll end uphill and it's going to be pretty steep uphill actually. So this will be a bit different than the today because you have to attack from a long way out. This time it's saving your saving your energy, having as much energy as possible when you get to here, then attacking. So this will be a bit different, and I'll see you guys in the next video. 
If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like, subscribe or comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.